we are on the brand new Sun Princess, the largest cruise ship for the Princess Cruises fleet. And today we're gonna tell you the good, bad, and the one thing that no one is talking about that's on this ship and a game changer for the cruise line industry. Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Jordan. And I'm Jared. And this is JJ, JJ Cruz. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking into the video today. We are on the brand new Sun Princess, finally. And we've gotten our bearings over the last couple of days and we're here to share with you our first impressions. Now these are our honest first impressions, both the good and the bad, as well as the one thing that we think no one's really talking about there in the media that we think is a huge game changer and is gonna be taken by so many cruise lines after they see it here on Sun Princess. But before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel. It's free for you, means the world to us. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up. Let's jump right in and talk about the good. One of the things that we love about Princess is the medallion technology. Now, if you're not familiar with the Princess brand, the medallion technology is a small circular disc that kind of acts as your cruise pass to the ship. It's the way that you get drinks. It's the way that you get yourself into the room. And it is unlike any other type of sea pass or sea card that you're traditionally used to on cruise ships. The best part is there's geolocating services both for you to find other loved ones or friends you may be traveling with on board the ship at any time within your app or for someone that you want to service you food or drinks anywhere on board the ship. Ocean Now is a way to get your food or beverages delivered to you while you're relaxing at the pool or wherever you may be. My favorite thing about the medallion is that it lets you into the stateroom without ever having to pull any card or anything out of your pocket. As you approach the door, the door recognizes that you're in the area, it unlocks, and you can automatically walk in to your beautiful stateroom. Speaking of stateroom, one of the best things about these staterooms is the storage. We love the fact there's so many drawers, shelves, closet space, you name it, hooks, whatever it may be that you need for storage. Well, it's here on Sun Princess. Another thing that we absolutely love about the stateroom is the fact that there are so many outlets. There are outlets by the bed, both on one side and the other side, if you are in one bed together, or at the actual counter space from USBs, USB-Cs to European and US outlets, whatever you need, you can find it here in your cabin. Let's move into talking about the cruise ship itself. Now, the Sun Princess is a part of a brand new class of ship called the Sphere Class. And there's a lot of different things on this ship from traditional princess ships that we've seen in the past. One of the things that we are stunned by is the amount of glass on this ship. The lookout points, the viewing areas, the giant glass walls and floor to ceiling windows are absolutely stunning. We all cruise because we love looking at the views, whether you're at ports and have a beautiful island or beautiful country to look at, or whether you're at sea and you can see the ocean waves. So being able to see those views pretty much wherever you are on the ship is really, really important and we love it. Like we said, this is a little bit different from other princess ships in the fleet. And something that we have noticed is there are several getaway or kind of hidden tucked away spaces on the ship where you can really get lost. And on your vacation, when you just wanna get away from everything, that is perfection. Yeah, usually getting lost is not a good thing, but when it comes to Sun Princess, you can really get away from the noise, whether that's in the sea view terrace towards the front of the ship outside of the dome, or if it's that wake view terrace in the aft of the ship, which is really unique placement to where you do have to kind of find your way there to really find it. We like both of these spots because they have incredible views and then have an incredible relaxation ability as well as pools, which are really important if you're gonna relax in the sun. Speaking of pools, this ship, like other princess ships, has a sanctuary, which is a premium space that you can purchase a day pass to or a half day pass. And it is a beautiful pool all the way up on deck number 18. There's a hot tub, a pool, plus plush furniture. When we went up there, we were honestly amazed at how beautiful the views are up there and how nice that area is. 
We typically aren't ones to buy cabanas, but we would actually consider it here because it is so private and reserved that the cabana space just adds that level of relaxation and then having service to you at the cabana as well. If you're coming on board the Sun Princess anytime soon, do not miss taking a peek of the Enclave and the Lotus Spa on day one. They do the free spa tours, of course, all of the embarkation day, and we were definitely blown away with some of the abilities and especially the philosotherapy pool inside the Enclave. While some other ships in the industry are moving away from thermal suites and really nice areas with philosotherapy pools, the Sun Princess has really invested in this area. We love a nice spa. We like a really relaxing spot that you can get away and just have kind of that me day. And the Enclave at the Lotus Spa here on the Sun Princess is definitely that place. Something that's talked about a lot on cruise ships are elevators. And weirdly enough, a lot of times for the bad reasons. Well, the elevators on Sun Princess are a good. They follow some of the other newer cruise ships out there in the market and they are very smart. You pick what deck you want to go to and they give you a letter of elevator to go to to wait for your elevator. They'll go directly to the deck you are destined to go to. We also love that these elevators are accessible friendly. There is a button that does it all. You name it. If you need some kind of accessibility measure, that button handles it perfectly for you. Let's talk about one of my favorite things and that's craft cocktails. Ooh, yes. Now on this ship, there has been over 200 new craft cocktails created or cultivated for the bars on board Sun Princess. Let's just say we have tried several of them so far and we think this ship might have the best cocktails in the industry. Another thing to note that we're seeing right off the bat are the menus are very diverse in prices. So whether you have the classic more Princess Plus package versus that of the Premier package, you can find craft cocktails at many bars. You don't have to go looking or searching for that one drink that may be included in your package. We love this fact and we think that this is gonna be a really cool thing for the rest of the cruise. It's only been a couple of days, but the service is top notch. We have had so many friendly faces, smiles, best quality of service you can ask for. And that is not always found on a brand new cruise ship. Sometimes it's really hard to get in and out of the dining rooms or especially dining venues or getting your right drink because they don't know where to find that special wine bottle. We have had none of that issue, which has been really impressive, honestly, with a brand new cruise ship. Now let's talk about the bad, and we always want to make sure that you know. Our bads are more things that you need to know or we think potentially could be issues in the future. So let's get right into that, and we're going to talk about the stateroom, and specifically our balcony. Now there's a couple of things we think are missing on the balcony. One is a footrest or a footstool. For really lounging and chilling out on the balcony, the deluxe balconies do not have any type of footrest. We'd love to see something like that come on board uh, these ships in the future. And the second is the light. There's no light on the balcony, so at night it's really not a place that you can hang out or go out in. We just recommend kind of closing your curtain in the evening. But those I think are our two kind of gripes with the actual room that we have. With this being our first impression, some of these bads are more of concerns for the rest of the cruise. And one of them is the congestion that happened on embarkation day. We have noticed this in the piazza as well as the eatery. Congestion is not something you look forward to on any cruise ship and we are selling at full capacity. So the nice thing is we are getting a full taste of the rest of this cruise on if it's gonna be congested at any place. We'll definitely put it in our full review later on once we fully experience the ship for a week. But for now, we are concerned about those two spaces. This is a brand new ship. And so there's things that both Princess and the passengers kind of have to figure out in order to make the flow work. And so I guess we'll see over the coming days if we see that flow kind of get better. But initially those two areas did kind of get a little cramped with a lot of people all in one spot. Another thing regarding dining is some of the specialty dining restaurants. Now, if you're not familiar with Princess, Princess Plus covers a couple of casual dining experiences. That's gonna be Alfredo's and O'Malley's. However, if you're doing Princess Premier, that covers a couple of specialty dining. And these are kind of the highest tier, the top notch specialty dining venues. Well, some of the venues we've gone to and we don't feel like they are special enough. 
For example, Kai Sushi is a brand new venue coming here on Sun Princess. And we've noticed that it's just like a cafe next to the piazza. In fact, there's no separation. People are walking by you, whether it's during the day or at night. And they could be in basketball shorts or whatever may have you walking by as you're having a nice sushi meal. Now, once again, this also has to be shown for a couple other specialty restaurants, which is The Catch by Rudy, as well as The Butcher's Block by Dario. And that is something we're really looking forward to trying out because those are extensions of The Buffet, which is the eatery on board Sun Princess. We are just a little confused at why these venues aren't taken into consideration like Sabatini's might be, which is gorgeous space built out, or, or even O'Malley's, even though it's a casual dining restaurant, it is absolutely stunning inside there. So we're a little confused. We're gonna try it out and definitely report back how that experience is. There are a few things that aren't quite ready on our sailing. Park 19 is one of those. If you don't know, Park 19 is sets at the very top of the ship, has a lot of different activities, specifically for families, but some activities that some big kids or grown adults <laughs> can take part of too. We're definitely disappointed that that's not ready, so that's not something that we can speak to. However, it should be ready and then, you know, in the coming months. And when you get to come on board, we want you to tell us in the comments how it is and how your experience was. I definitely want to get on the ropes course, so we wish we could get on it this cruise, but it's not looking likely at this point. Another thing that's not ready for our cruise, at least from what we know at this point for first impressions, are the main production shows, and that includes the Cirque Act in the Dome. We really look forward to production shows and they do make or break sometimes whether or not you choose one ship over the other. Maybe not that you're going on a cruise, but which ship might be best for you we unfortunately aren't able to report back on that currently and we don't expect to at our main review, but stay tuned, maybe something will change. I know that they're opening up the arena for the first time on this cruise and we're so excited to experience it and report back on how that experience is in our full review coming soon. That was the bad. Now we're gonna talk about the one thing Princess is doing that we think is a game changer for the industry, but I just have to say overall, we are really looking forward to the next few days on this ship. The ship is beautiful. There seems to be a lot of activities on the schedule, lots of different things to go and do and see, lots more cocktails to try. <laughs> so we're really, really excited for the rest of the cruise. And overall, we have really enjoyed the first couple of nights here on the Sun Princess. Yes, yeah, stay tuned for our full review, which will have a lot of the experiences, including dining, how we think the food is, the service for the rest of the cruise, how our service is in our stateroom, and so much more. So definitely stay tuned for that. Maybe in a week or two we'll report back and have a video on that but i think it's time to talk about the one thing that we truly find as maybe a game changer move that is happening on some princess that we would love to see on other cruise ships a point of contention for the cruise industry is the main dining room you've got people on both sides of the aisle you've got people that say oh I wish that dining was more formal, like it used to be back in the golden age of cruising. <laughs> then you have other people that are like, why can't I just wear shorts to the main dining room and <laughs> enjoy dining the way that I want to dine? Well, we think Princess Cruises has possibly found the solution for all of the dining problems. Onboard Sun Princess, there is a three-story main dining room, but it's not like other three-story main dining rooms out there in the industry, no. They have separated each deck for a different dining style. On the main deck, you're gonna have your traditional dining, your early, your late dining, you sit at the same table every single time, something that so many cruisers love to do. Now on the second deck level though, you actually have, well, anytime dining. If you like to kind of still get dressed up, but go when you like, you can do so on the second deck. Then on the top level of the dining room, they're calling it Americana. It's a more casual, less formal dining style where they're serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner all day long. So you can go there in, you know, your casual clothing in the evening and eat that breakfast for dinner that you so love doing at home. It's not clothing optional by any means, <laughs> but it is more casual clothing. We did verify you can wear shorts in there. And so it's one of those things that I think some cruisers have really sought after for a premium cruise line to do. Now it is something to, it's important to note that this is not open 24 hours, it's just the breakfast, lunch, and dinner are available when they are open. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you can get breakfast, lunch, or dinner. 
Again, we think that this is so smart. We love that Princess is doing this. We'll have to report back on how the main dining room is, especially that Americana. I'm really looking forward to trying that. But in general, we think that this is one of the smartest things that we have seen across the cruise industry in quite a while. That was our honest first impressions of Sun Princess, Princess Cruises brand new cruise ship and the biggest cruise ship for Princess Cruises. Let us know your thoughts though. What are your comments? Put them down below. We'd love to hear from you. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What are your first impressions? We are happy to hear. Well, thank you so much for watching again. I'm Jordan. And I'm Jared. And until next time, see, see ya. ya.